think many of you in this room will know or remember Logie Meacham. Uh, was, uh, uh, many members of this meeting in particular will remember Logie very fondly. Um, we had a sing at our house not too long before he died. And at that event, he told the story of the Underground Railroad, Deep River. My wife had gone to Deep River meeting. In his version, at least, that is the Deep River, the famous song, which you'll hear about more later, I think. And I got interested in knowing which, which songs are really Underground Railroad songs and suggested to Lou that next time we do one of these, uh, let's see if we can do one with Underground Railroad songs. It's the biennial of that, that's a bit, very, uh, many of you will know. Uh, there are booklets out, outside about the Underground Railroad, uh, so stop and pick up one or two on the way out. Um, but anyway, in the process of doing that, I checked with the, one of my brothers who lives in Los Angeles and is involved in racial justice work, and he responded by saying he didn't really know what, which songs were the Underground Railroad, but he thought he knew somebody who might, a woman that sang at his church sometimes, uh, might be a candidate, and when he asked her, she promptly produced several CDs made years and years ago, specifically titled Song of the Underground Railroad, and several of those were here. She and her then husband uh, made those. Uh, and so I told Gertrude Beal about this, and she jumped on it and said, We need to try to get either both of them or one of them if possible. And we were fortunate enough to get Kim Harris. So Me here. 
coast of the African continent, people packed down into slave ships. The stench and the filth and the death. People standing on an auction block and finding themselves in a so-called new world. Oh,
So please, you may want to say to the other person, I'm about to sing and it's going to be great. <laughs>
to the next generation and the next generation and the next generation. To pass that on would be your method of rebellion. Now let me hear you say the word no. 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 People enslaved, we wanted to say no a whole lot louder than that. So, you know. All right, now I know we're here in this beautiful Quaker space. But let me hear you say the word no. 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 No to being sold. No to being raped. No to having to work in a way that you just couldn't do or wouldn't do. They wanted to say no. To having their names taken away. No. To being told how they were going to have to worship. No. To slay them. But they also wanted to say that other word. Let me hear you say the word yes. Yes. Yes, yes to freedom. Yes. Yes. yes to keeping families together. Yes. Yes. yes to having your marriage vows honored. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes to learning how to read and write. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes to helping other people to escape, even if you yourself couldn't go to freedom. Yes. No more auction block for me. No more, no more. No more auction block for me. Many thousand gone. No more masters call for me. No more, no more. No more masters call for me. Many thousand gone. Sing in front of your master or mistress. 